the crux for me was about the the, the talk about worship mm -hmm. and um it's just like you said a mental deliverance mm -hmm. for for me and also and i i think for quite a couple of people that were in service today yeah. so the basic lesson learned there is that worship should be a lifestyle it, it should be a lifestyle yeah. no matter the situation or the quagmire we find ourselves in we should learn at those points in time to worship god and the the lesson is that that's where the deliverance comes from yes and that's where the strength the victory actually comes from my takeaway from the service was that no matter what it is mm -hmm. i should always praise god okay. no matter what it is i should always learn to deal with issues mm -hmm. when it pertains to god my offenses who which i have held back as against things that experiences unpleasant experiences mm -hmm. I have experienced in life yeah. that made me some kind which I do not own up to mm -hmm. that I was resentful towards God okay. I need to deal with those issues yeah. yes. and move forward in life mm -hmm. because it is in dealing with those issues that will take me to my quantum leap. Okay. You talked about the flow from the hand mm -hmm. this connection and I get to um, learn something significant from that that it's, it's like this flow of the spirit yeah. once there's a disconnection there is no flow and once there is no flow of blood then there is no there is it cannot function we there cannot no function life. there is no life then we cannot function that and can function well so it shows that we need to keep um, the spirits intact all day all night so that we we'll flow in God yeah, and we need to keep abiding abiding in God's word yeah. and in the spirits so that we'll be receiving life and grace from him so that we'll be able to function in our world e effectively. I think the highlight is um, when Pastor said, you must worship God for everything, even the hurts of the past. Hmm. And it just took me back two years ago and I said, there are actually things in my life I need to go back and say, God, yeah. I praise you for them and okay. just, you know, let, let things happen your way. Yeah, it was quite refreshing. I mean, um, of course, this has been a series and this is a follow-up message to the one that was preached uh, last, uh, last Sunday. And I mean, the focal point of the message, as we've all learned, is how to deal with situations. You yes. know, anytime uh, we shouldn't hold offense against God. Yes. Basically, once we find ourselves in such situation, that's an opportunity yes. to actually take advantage and draw mm -hmm. power out from it. Not allow crisis go to waste. Exactly, not allow crisis go to waste. That's the exact word. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us this morning at Covenant Christian Center, the Gomu Place. The second service at this center is just about to start for 10.30 a.m. And we hope that you will join us next Sunday um, again when we'll be projecting live of also interviewing people sharing the experiences of the service. Thank you so much and see you next time. God bless.